Yo, it's Charlie on a Friday, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. What's up, guys? Rob here, hanging out here backstage at Jingle Ball. I'm here with Charlie on a Friday. What's up, dude? How are you doing? What's going on? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Exciting good. Uh, to be here all over again. Uh, I look forward to this performance or these shows every single year just because I get yeah. to discover new artists. Awesome. But also I get to see artists that I already am passionate about. Cool. Uh, for you performing on the Village stage, what does that mean to you? It's awesome. I mean, I love Jingle Ball. I grew up going to Jingle Ball as a kid, so yeah. it's dope. That's amazing. Yeah. And you just have a current single out right now, Undefeated. Such yep. a masterpiece, dude. Like, Thank you, bro. Thank you. You just like elevate it with every single track that you release. Thank you. Take me into that creative process and like, yeah. how, how does that how do you create this music? Like, what does it does it start with a melody? Does it start with lyrics? Yeah. Feeling? I mean, sometimes I have an idea of like what I want the song to be about. Yeah. Sometimes I just do melodies. Um, it depends, but yeah, a lot of the times it's melodies. Yeah. Yeah. What was it about this song that you did something different? Like, or did you find yourself doing something different with, with this Undefeated? Track? Yeah, with Undefeated. I love football, and I grew up playing football as a kid. Yeah. And I knew that the goal with this song was to make kind of like a sports anthemic song that I could hear in like stadiums right. and like. Um, That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So I think that was kind of the idea with this song, but I'm glad that the vision was completed and yeah. it became what I wanted it to be, so. Do you feel like it challenged you to be able to create something anthemic like this? Was it harder vocally? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely harder to make. I, I think it's harder to make like a very like anthemic song yeah. rather than like a acoustic song or whatever, but right. yeah. Now you've had incredible collaborations in the past. Natalie Jane has yep. been one of the most recent ones. Yeah. Um, what's it like collaborating with a female vocalist, and how does that impact your vocals? Yeah, I think Natalie's an incredible artist, and um, I've been tapped in with her for a while, and I've always wanted to do a song with her. So, yeah, it's dope. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've been busy this year on for the road, sure. basically the entire year. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been a ride. <laughs> yeah. With with your tour and also with Tate McRae. Yeah. How does uh, how do these two different like experiences kind of catapult you for the next level of music? Just because yeah. now you get to experience a different kind of fan base, a different kind of audience. For sure. I think when you're opening up for an artist or doing support with another artist, you're always just trying to leave the best impression on the on the fans that are there and convert yeah. fans to your own and um, do your best. I think it, I think it's great though. It was super fun. I had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to go back on the road with her for next year. You're yeah, you're up. You're with it. So you're up. Um, We're running you, it back. What are you doing differently this time around? Like now that you know that you got some time before that. Yeah. I mean, we're definitely gonna have a lot of new music out by then, so you'll hear different songs on the stage. But. Yeah. Um, same energy, same vibe. We're going to bring it again. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been working on new material, so how different is it or how similar is it to what we're listening to today? Yeah, I mean, I think with my songs, it's like a big range of shit. Like, some songs are like undefeated, where it's like hype, lit, sports yeah. songs, and then songs like Enough, where it's like heartbreak stuff. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely diving into more of like the sad songs with this, with these next songs coming out. So, I'm excited to do that, but yeah. What's it like for you to get vulnerable? Is that something easy for you to do? I think yeah, I, I think a lot of artists can relate to this, but people that aren't very good at talking about their emotions and how they feel, they it's easy for them to talk through music. Yeah. And I think that music is a great outlet for me to like express how I feel, and um, yeah, I'm happy to do it. And I know that a lot of people relate to a lot of similar things. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm 20 years old. Like a lot of people are going through the same things <laughs> that I am, you know. Yeah. So if it can help someone get through something and someone can relate and really feel it, then I did my job. Right. Yeah. Now, lastly, we're here celebrating the holiday season. The year is about to wrap. Yeah. Um, do you have like special moments that you do with your family or like traditions that you do with your family during the holidays? I know that me and all my boys back home always play a great game of football yeah. around the holiday time. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good tradition. Undefeated will be the soundtrack. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank I'm you, brother. I'm going to catch you out there. Yep. Guys, be sure to check out Charlie on Friday. Undefeated is out now. He'll be on tour with Tate McRae next year. And thanks for watching. I'm from her live. Thank you, brother. Dope. Appreciate awesome, you. man.